Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in. I come across my channel again, Operation RV. I'm back. So today is a um, another RV vid uh, video that I wanted to share. Uh, there's a lot of, um, I guess, RVers out there that when you're dry camping or in a bug out situation, shit hits the fan situation, whatever, whatever the case may be, or boondocking and you don't have sure power all you're going to rely on is the last 12 volts that are in your battery that's it and if you don't have your rv full of leds inside with lights you probably only have a few hours so this is what today's video brings us that's right that is the champion uh, dual fuel okay so the starting watts is 4375. Total running watts is uh, what it says there, the 3500. 4000 starting at a continuous uh, 3150. Uh, what's really nice about this, it is dual fuel. So right now I have it regulated for fuel. Here's the fuel tank. And if you wanted to do LP gas, Boom, turn the switch on, hook up your tube, your hose, you're ready to go. So what I wanted to demonstrate today is I'm here next to my rig, which is a 40 foot uh, Sun Valley Evergreen. And um, I do have two AC units on top with your standard amenities, microwaves, two fridges, so forth. So I want to show you what you can get out of this generator. I picked them up at, from Sam's. I want to say it was like 450 bucks, but I am blown away at what this jewel has provided me and my family uh, when we're boondocking, dry camping, whatever the case may be, or if you're at home, you're sticking brick home, power goes out, yank this bad boy out, run an extension cord, keep your refrigerator cold, so, or even a wall unit, AC unit to keep your house your room cold till power comes on for your family. This is awesome. So it's a 224 cc motor. Very, very easy at starting. It come with uh, the hose, it come with the funnel, all that good stuff. Literally turn the fuel on like so. Hit your switch on and check this out guys. So what I'm going to do is after I get her started and running up, I'm going to run inside my unit. I'm going to turn on the AC, okay? Then I'm going to come out. I'm going to give you some readings on my uh, multimeter there on what the current's pulling out. And I have some additional things I'll be plugging in and show you all what you can be doing while your family is inside being comfortable. So check it out. One pull. All it took was one pull. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my headgear on. Bear with me one second here. All right, reflection check. Bam, all right, so let's take a look over here. And we're gonna go inside the unit Welcome aboard guys, this is it, and uh, let's go ahead and turn on a few lights, that's the bedroom, actually I'm going to take my headgear off, I'll do better justice here, so I can see what's going on, okay, and Main unit lights on. And let's see, let's go ahead and get the thermostat on and turn it on here real quick. It's on off. It's 94 degrees in here. That's another thing. Can you guys see that? Turn this on. Hit that switch for me, light switch. Mm 
not really much justice. But here we go. And the AC is on. We got cold air. Yes. Yes. So we're gonna go back outside real quick because I want to give you some more demonstrations here. Uh, my generator, my champion, is a 30 amp generator, okay? Which I have a 50 amp RV unit. So what that tells you is that I can only run 30 amp service off my generator to power a 50 watt or 50 amp um, RV. But I have a dog bone or step down. So it steps it down from 50 amps to a 30 amp. It's highly recommended that if you have two AC units, do not turn both on because you will blow a uh, fuse on your inverter inside. And typically if you're running the one air conditioner and turn on the microwave, you could have a slight chance of blowing a fuse as well. But I will show you, you can run the air conditioner one of them whichever one you want the main cabin or um, the living area plus keep all your lights on watch tv and still come out here and work let's give it a try so if i'm yelling i do apologize so what i want to show you real quick is the uh voltage measurements on what it's reading to sand or buff or polish your RV plugged in so all three of these are used walk over here because it's a dual fuel like I mentioned before is 99% of all RVs run off of propane okay so how nice is it that you can literally take your lid off take your hose from your propane plug it right into your um, your generator if you didn't want to use the gas it's amazing or uh, like on the back of my rig where my grill is, there is a, a propane port where I can hook the, uh, the, the tube up there and run it right to my generator. So let's go ahead and step back inside. Should be cooling off pretty good now. Let's take a look here and see what we got. All right, shut this door. All right, bedroom light on. Okay. Over the bed on. So all my lights are on. Radio on. Just gonna get the TV power. May not be plugged in. And she is. See if you can get that on for me. All right, 
And like I mentioned before, I'm not going to turn on the microwave because I already know what's going to happen. Fridge. Check it out. On. So right now my refrigerator is, is going to get cold. I'm running all this, guys. I'm going to turn it back off. All on a 30 amp generator. It was 94 in here about 5-10 minutes ago and we're already at 92 degrees. So here momentarily she's going to be cooled down. So uh, again I want you to long for the ride today on the generator talk because like I mentioned before uh, it's nice to have sure power when you go ahead and connect the 50 amp or 30 amp service or whatever your rig um, has attached to it but in case you want to do dry camping, boondocking, go out there, something really secu uh, secluded to see some of God's most awesome creations and still have the comforts of your home, the generator is key. Um, and there are tons out there from Honda to um, uh, the Champion that I got to even the ones from Harbor Freight. Uh, like I mentioned, this one's from Sam's for like 450 bucks. Dual propane or dual fuel which is amazing. So, um, guys, I hope you liked all the detailed information regarding how much load this generator can uh, add. Um, go ahead down there and hit that comment button, that like and subscribe, and hit that bell notification, and I'll go ahead and keep producing more content, and you'll get that uh, flagged your way. Again, guys, thanks for tuning in. God bless. Peace.